Hi, I'm Teacher Michael, and welcome to Science 9, Third Quarter, Week 7. Constellation As we look at the night sky, we see thousands of dazzling stars that resemble different patterns called constellations. We can use our imagination to see what pattern they look like. Some resemble different animals, shapes, and other objects. They even tell a story of how these star patterns are connected to each other, but in reality, they are light years away from each other. These stars have distinct properties such as size, brightness, and color. Constellations are a group of stars that appear to form a pattern in the sky. These are a group of stars with have, which have patterns, and these are what we call constellations. There are 88 constellations recognized by the International Astronomy Union, or IAU. Many constellations have means that can be traced back to early Babylonian and Greek civilizations. Most cultures have different names for the constellation. Do you know your zodiac sign? Sojaks are the 12 constellations. We have Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpius, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Example. The constellation behind the sun from August 10 to September 16 is the constellation Leo. During this period, the constellation Leo is not visible in the night sky because it is behind the sun. So this is the constellation Leo. This is the Earth during that time, August 10 to September 16. So during the night of that time, the Leo is behind the Sun and we cannot see this pattern or constellation Leo during the night that night because it is behind the Sun as well as those patterns in the sky or those zodiac signs. Those um, said dates, they are, those are the dates that, that we cannot see them during that dates at that night because the, their position, their position is behind the sun. This gives us the idea that constellation may be present or not in the night sky depending on the position of the earth with respect to the sun so meaning to say we cannot eat uh, we are not some of the patterns of the sky or the, some of the constellations with the low zodiac signs some of them can be visible or some of them are not visible during the night time it's because of the position of the earth as with respect to the sun if the constellation is behind the sun during that date and to see the night on earth that night on earth we cannot be able to see that constellation some constellations appear and disappear in the night sky throughout the year due to revolution of the earth so that's the reason why some patterns are not visible on that date. Some constellation or subject signs are visible on that date. It's because of the revolution of the Earth. Revolution is the movement of Earth around the Sun. For that reason, 
some patterns are visible and some are not on it on some days or some months. It's because of the revolution of the earth around the sun. Do stars move? The sun is a star and it does not move. Stars do not move but when we observe carefully during night time, stars seem to move. Let us find out more by doing the next activity. For your activity one, the title is Apparent Movement of the stars through the night. Do this and answer the following questions. So, ob objectives after performing this activity, you should be able to describe the apparent motions of the stars at night. So, for your for your task for activity one, procedure number one: on a clear night, look at the sky from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Number two. Focus on one or two constellations like the Taurus and Orion or any group of stars on that night. Taurus and Orion can be seen in our country, the Philippines. So once you choose group of stars or constellation during the night, on that night, what you're going to do is to observe the group of stars every hour of that night from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. After doing the activity, after doing the task, answer these following questions. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Question number one. Compare the compositions of the stars seen at 7, 9, and 11 p.m. What do you notice? Question number two. Are the stars visible at 7 p.m. still visible at 11 p.m. in their original position? Why is this so? Question number three. How do the stars move? Describe the movement of the stars in the night sky. Question number four. How is the motion of the stars similar to the motions of the sun. And don't forget to reflect on what have you did. Reflection, what have you learned from this activity? Why do you think stars seem to move at night sky? As the sun moves across the sky throughout the day, so does the stars through the night. Sun's sun during the day rises from east and going and set to west during the night. And thus and so as the stars during the night because like um, sun, sun is also a star. Those stars during the night seems also to move. Why? This is because the Earth continuously rotates on its axis. So because of the rotation of the Earth, stars seems to move on during night sky. The stars will appear to move from east to west like the sun. So, Meaning to say, stars seem to move during the night sky because the Earth rotates on its axis. It's the Earth that rotates. It's the Earth that moves. For that reason, it seems those stars move or um, move in their position. So it's about rotation. Constellation are seen in different forms thus constellation names differ depending on the observer's culture. 
We have our own locally recognized constellation names such as Malihe, Malara, and Muaya. So during the Asian time, Asian Filipino named some constellation on their own like Malihe, Malara, and Muaya. Constellations also serve as a time signal for some indigenous tribe. So, these constellations are mostly observed at exact time, month, and date every year. Since they have no calendar before, the constellations serve a calendar that gives signal for different activities. So, those constellations, it serves like a calendar for them to start some activities. So that's the use or the, that's the significance of the constellation on their on their life during that those days. So these are the following um, constellation that ancient Filipino name on their own. We have the local name is Baha. Its English name or Western equivalent is what we call the Taurus. So they see this Baha or Taurus during December to February. So it's the idea, the use of this is for clearing and pre preparation. So meaning to say once they see this constellation Taurus or Baha during that time, that's the time for them to clear and prepare for planting or for whatever activity they want to do. Next, we have the local name is Pandarawa. Okay, the English name or the Western equivalent is the Pleiades constellation. So, the Pandarawa constellation um, is visible during the month of January. So, it, it indicates planning of crops to be planted. So, once they see this constellation, they are now being going to plan what crops to be planted. Next is the Baladic or the constellation Orion's belt. So this is the Balatic. Okay, the, those three stars serves as the Balatic or the Orion's belt. So it, it appears during the month of February and it's indication for the start of planning. Next, we have Gibang. The local name is Gibang. Its Western equivalent or English name is Gemini. So it is visible in the month of April to May. So its uses is for end of planting. We also have the local name is Lepo. Its English name or Western equivalent is Aquila constellation. So it is visible in the late May. It indicates cleaning and harvesting. And some other um, constellation, but it doesn't have English name. We have local name Malihe. It happens or it is visible during the month of the year or month, March. Indications, planting of rice, corn, and vegetables. We also have Malara. Um, it appears during the during month of May. Indications, stop planting. And we also have Uwaya. It appears during June and it's the start for rainy season. So those are some um, constellations that have local names or those Asian Filipino um, create their own name. Star patterns in the sky. What form do you see from those pictures below? You have to answer that. So I hope you you see some pictures on that um, constellation. As we look up to the heavens, stars show a multitude of colors including red, orange, yellow, blue, and white. Star temperatures matches the range of colors. Okay, so let us let us look at the table and image and relate stars' colors to its temperature. The coolest stars, or the coolest star in the sky, glow red. So this is the red star. As the surface temperature rises, 
colors change through orange and yellow. The hottest stars glow a lighter blue and the very hottest are the darker blue color. Let us take a look in this. It shows the class, spectrum, color, and temperature of stars. For class O, we have color bluish. Its temperature is above 31,000 Kelvin. That's so very, very hot. So the, the bluish star is classified as class O and it has a temperature of about 31,000 Kelvin. We have the blue-white colored star. It is class B. Its temperature is 9,750 to 31,000 Kelvin. We also have the colored white star. It is categorized as class A. Its temperature is 7,100 to 9,750 Kelvin. We also have the yellowish white colored star. It is classified as class F. Its temperature is 5950 to 7100 Kelvin. We have the yellowish colored star. Its class is class G. Its temperature is 5250 to 5950 Kelvin. We also have the colored orange star. Its class is class K. Its temperature is 3,800 to 5,250 Kelvin. And the coolest star is the reddish colored star. Its, cla it is, its class is class M. Its temperature is 2,000, ranges from 2,200 to 3,800 Kelvin. For your activity number two, why are stars different? What we're going to do is to arrange the colors of the stars from coolest to hottest. You may refer your answer from the previous thing. So what we're going to do is to arrange the color of the stars depending on their um, depending on their temperature. So, so what you're going to do is to identify which is the which color is the coolest. Okay. And and up to seven, which is which color is the hottest? So you can refer your answers here at this picture, and also you can refer your answer on the previous table. Summary of my learnings: Thousands of dusting stars resemble different patterns or constellations. The stars appear to move in the night sky from east to west because of Earth's rotation. Due to Earth's movement around the sun, or what we call revolution, different star patterns appear at different times of the year. Constellations are given common local names to determine certain events and seasons and stories. Asian people use constellations as calendar to give them to guide them in their many activities from agriculture, navigation, and even domestic activities. I hope you learned something from our concept for this day. Now you are ready for our short quiz. Direction, choose the letter of the best answer, write the chosen letter on a separate sheet of paper. Let's start. Number 1. What is constellation? Letter A. They are patterns of dots in the sky. Letter B. They are mythical heroes. Letter C. They are region in the sky where stars appears to be grouped together. Letter D. They are patterns of the stars in the sky. Number 2. Why do stars appear to move in the sky? Letter A. Because of the revolution of the Earth. Letter B. Because of the Earth is because the Earth is rotating on its axis. Letter C. Because our galaxy is moving. Letter D, because the sky is moving. Number 3, what constellation indicates the start of rainy season? Letter A, Baha. Letter B, Malati. Letter C, Huaya. Letter D, Lep. Number 4, star colors ranges from red to blue. Which color of a star has the hottest temperature? A, blue. B, 
white, C, yellow, D, red. And number five, in the ancient times, constellations were very useful in navigation. Which constellation helped guide sailors find their way as they sail across the seas at night? A. Orion, B. Polaris, C. Taurus, D. Pegasus. Again, do the activities for week 7 and answer all of the questions here. So our total points for week 7 is 20 points. Good luck! Criteria for scoring, complete with correct answer 20 points, complete with few mistakes 18 points, incomplete with few mistakes 15 points, answered only 50% of the whole activity 10 points, answered only 25% of the whole activity 5 points, no answer at all, zero. Thank you for watching and listening. Have a nice day.